Hi hey guys, welcome to another beer review and today we're going back over to Siren, a brewery who I don't drink enough of their beers even though 99% of the beers I've drank I've really enjoyed. So we're having a look at the Double Double which is a double dry hopped coffee pale ale and this is brewed um, uh, for the, the Barrister series uh, 2019 and uh, they've used coffee from uh, Pharmacy Coffee Roasters. So, uh, Project Barista continues two of our greatest passions, beer and coffee. Sign me up. Uh, the series aims to take the relationship between the two in new directions. We are releasing four unique brews uh, using different kinds of coffee in unique ways working alongside one of the best roasters in the country. Find out more at sirencraftbrew.com forward slash project barista. And uh, yeah, I'm always interested uh, to try beers that have been brewed with uh, yeah, artisanal coffee roasters because I do love a good cup of coffee. Even though I don't drink it enough, I've got like loads of, you know, loads of coffees from packed coffee, uh, which are still in like little jars that I just never, never drink. It's just like the instant bullshit Kenko stuff just because it's easier but I might have a nice coffee tonight actually um, but yeah so this is brewed with uh, water barley and oats and wheat obviously hops and then allergen free hazelnut extract vanilla coffee and yeast so yeah I do like uh, coffee in pale beers and they're like coffee IPAs and pales and loud cars outside oh it's an ice cream then uh, the, the coffee pails and IPAs that I've had have been wonderful and uh, especially stuff like uh, actually talking about like coffee lagers and pilsners uh, there's that one from um, what are they called but it was uh, like an iced latte which was like a dark lager with coffee I can't remember what they're called what, it, I don't think it was Beatnik Republic it was a Manchester based brewery I can't remember uh, so that's that story finished. Anyway, I've got to keep this video brief because I've got a pizza in the oven and it's halfway cooked. So uh, I want to get this sorted. Uh, I've just had, actually, um, another siren beer. And that was the, um, I can't remember what, because you're actually being propped up against the bowl, uh, which is a grapefruit sour IPA, which was tasting really nice. So, beer in the glass then. And a uh, dirty glass because it's just been rinsed. Let's get rid of those bubbles. For the snobs out there but yeah lovely sort of golden in amber color it's got a nice haze to it it's not like you know haze for days mark for years level but a lovely op opacity to it and the beer poured for about just shy of half fingers worth of a, a nice one finger white head half a finger of a nice one finger white head what the fuck am i talking about anyway looks really nice so let's see what we get on the nose after spilling it all over your crotch Oh, that's nice. First thing I'm getting, big hit of vanilla, then a lovely, lovely coffee character. Oh, that's really nice. That coffee presence is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know if that's... Is that fresh coffee beans or roasted coffee beans? As much as I love coffee, I don't... I've not invested myself that much into the actual process as I have when it comes to beer, but oh, that's absolutely wonderful. You know those sort of like berry like and chocolate notes you get from a nice espresso blend. I'm getting that in this and it's balanced beautifully with a lovely light citrusy mango-y character. Oh, that smells absolutely wonderful. Uh, best before date is the 20th of November 2019. Uh, I bought this from Brewdog in Liverpool. And I think this has been the, the Barrister series this year has been out, uh, 2019 is when I'm recording this, obviously. It's been out for a little while now. So I don't know if it, how fresh this beer is, but that is so vibrant. Oh, my god, that smells good. Not getting the hazelnut too much on the nose, but that vanilla coffee and a beautiful, beautiful pale ale. 
character. It's just that perfect balance of fruitiness and savoury notes and roasty, earthy tones. It smells really damn good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. That's lovely. Oh, explosion. Mm. Everything that's advertised in this beer is there, but it's not too much, and that's terribly out of focus, so we'll be here. Oh, man. Lovely aftertaste on the back end. Coffee bitterness coming through. Very subtle cocoa powder character as well. The pale ale aspect is really nice and simple. It's just a really solidly brewed pale ale. So it's not really in your face hoppy, but you still get that fruitiness. Very subtle citrus character. A little bit more of a stone fruit uh, element to this. A lovely malt build and it almost has like a, a an English pale ale character to it but that coffee is just shining um, if I didn't know that hazelnut was in there I wouldn't pick out hazelnut but it does slightly remind me of hazelnut there's like it's there it's this nuttiness but if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't pick up on it. That's what I'd say. So maybe that's subsided slightly. Although I would imagine artificial flavourings. In fact, let's see. What type is it? Uh, hazelnut extract. Maybe that's died off a little bit. But I tell you, that coffee is just beautiful. And that aftertaste is something that I've not had for quite a while. In fact, I don't think I've really tasted a beer that's had a finish like that. Uh, Mouthfeel is it's really quaffable and drinkable. Um, it's at 6% ABV. Just what you'd expect, you know, a 6% ABV simple IPA to feel like in the mouth. Um, but yeah, that, that's absolutely lovely. It really, really is. <coughs> And that artwork is really nice as well. I'm a bit sad I missed out on the uh, the Barrister series. And I said this in the, the review for the uh, Grapefruit IPA. The sirens seem to be for me like the quintessential I wish I'd drink more beers from that brewery. Brewery. Do you know what I mean? I see them all the time when I'm going to like bottle shops. Uh, you can get a few of their beers in supermarkets now but I don't know what it is you just pick something else because like there's so much range and you know Siren will always be there so you're sort of like oh back off a little bit but yeah I definitely need to do a week looking at different Siren beers because this is just fantastic it really really is that the way that coffee and the quality of that coffee by the way is wonderful the way that coffee is utilised in this beer, it's just, it's wonderful. And I say this every time they credit the roasters, which I'm so thankful for, that, oh, I'll have to get some of their coffee. I never do, and it's really sad. So, yeah, lovely sorts, lovely stuff. Nice double IPA. No, double IPA? Double, double. Pale ale. I'm going to do double dry hopped coffee pale. What have they hopped that with? it's not really hoppy as such just hoppy enough enough to impart flavour but not to you know distract the palate and take away from that coffee and the other adjuncts and the vanilla is really nice and subtle just adds a nice little bit of sweetness to it but that bitterness on the back end is just superb so anyway I think I've gone on for a little bit longer than I anticipated but it's still shorter than I usually do. Um, so yeah, this is going to go well with a lovely meat feast pizza. Um, probably not, but I don't care. I'm outside. It's cooled down. It's sunny. I've got my phone. I can watch some YouTube, catch up on that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. 
Uh, in terms of a rating, uh, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Uh, I'd have liked to have tried this a little bit fresher, um, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. Um, but yeah, you'll get no complaints from me. And uh, for those who don't think that coffee uh, can work in a pale beer, give this a try. Uh, Shindigger, that's who I was talking about with that um, like black... Uh, like oh, was it a dark pilsner or a dunkel which had the, the coffee in there and like the lactose beautiful stuff lovely on tap as well so yeah 9 out of 10 from me Siren one of the most creative breweries but I just don't give them the appreciation they deserve and I do apologise so go check out Siren if you tried this or any of the other Barista series beers then I'd love to hear your thoughts opinions down below uh, pick this up from Brewdog in Liverpool for like 3 or 4 quid money well spent and uh yeah thank you all for watching go check out siren go check out uh pharmacy uh coffee roasters as well links in the description and of course check out my uh siren playlist as well for more reviews anyway thank you guys for watching i've got some pizza to eat and uh i'm happier than a pig in shit at the moment see you guys later